Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently in an interview with Business World, the DRDO chief has reported that country's premier R&D organization has designed, developed and manufactured a small turbofan engine for unmanned aerial vehicle applications with support from Indian industries. The engine has completed design validation tests on ground and presently undergoing experimental flight trials. On successful completion of flight trials, the derivative of these engines will be manufactured for a variety of unmanned aerial vehicle applications making the country up nearby in this complex and critical technology. So if we talk about the STFE engines or small turbofan engines, DRDO is working on variety of engines with varying thirst for different requirements. The DRDO's research center Imarat RCI in Hyderabad and the National Aerospace Laboratories NAL Propulsion Division is also working on the new turbojet engine with a thrust of 2.7 kN. The detailed design for the engine is complete and the work on the development of the prototype of the engine will commence soon. This engine will power air to surface missiles being developed by DRDO. The second engine which is being jointly developed by HL and GTRE is of 3.2 kN class. As per latest update, the manufacturing of the engine has already started. Initially, two technological demonstrator of turbojet engine will be produced which will be capable of generating a thrust of 3.2 kN and it will be used for India's first air-launched cruise missile ALCM program or also known as Hunter missiles as a part of CATS program. The turbojet engine is optimized for use especially on cruise missile and is planned to have a service life of 17 hours and can maintain and sustain a flight duration of 16 minutes or more. It should be able to achieve range of 300 plus km at its peak speed of 0.85 Mach. It is going to be 74 cm long with diameter of 31 cm and a total dry weight of 44 kgs. The DRDO's GTRE is also working on another engine which is of 4.41 kN class. GTRE has designed and developed this engine for indigenous technology cruise missile ITCM program which was successfully tested for a range of 150 km. The trial of this engine over its maximum range which is expected to be somewhere between 1000 to 1500 km is yet to be conducted. The Nirbhay missile is powered by a Russian NPO Saturn engine which will be replaced by indigenous STFA engine of 400 kg force thrust class. This engine is extremely important for Indian aerospace sector as it's going to power all future UCAVs and UAVs. So talking about Nirbhay missile program, it had been successful and it was a technology demonstrator to prove indigenous cruise missile technology. The Nirbhaya project is technically closed now. The next phase of trials which we will witness in upcoming years and what we witnessed last year is for indigenous technology cruise missile ITCM. It will include STFE or Manic engine and a radio frequency RF seeker from research center Imarat RCI. A separate air launch variant and submarine variant is also being developed. The two trials of ITCM conducted in 2021 was a partial success. As per AD's chief, there are two more tests planned for ITCM post which the missile will complete its test and will be ready for production as well as induction. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.